Hi everyone. This time we will learn about how to conduct motor circuit configuration and PLC wiring. Competitors will conduct motor circuit configuration and PLC wiring. Let us have a look at the key points of this task. First, check examples of proper and improper forward reverse circuit. Second, competitors can learn how to conduct PLC circuit configuration. Please double check preparations in detail and personal protective equipment to be ready for the task. Let us have a look at the precautions to perform the task in this training. First, during forward reverse circuit configuration, if wires are connected incorrectly, a short circuit might be caused. Examples of proper and improper forward reverse circuit. Wires should be crossed at the bottom part of K1 and K2 to operate forward reverse rotation. A comparative example of the actual wiring of forward reverse circuit in the control panel and incorrect wiring. Second, during PLC circuit configuration, AC voltage and DC voltage should be distinguished accurately. Third, if the sequence circuit and PLC circuit are incorrectly interlocked, a short circuit might be caused. K1 forward, K2 reverse are used both in manual and auto modes, so configure an interlock circuit between K1 and K2 to prevent a short circuit that might occur due to PLC manual function in auto mode. During K1 forward rotation operation, K2 reverse rotation cannot be operated because K1B contact is open. During K2 reverse rotation operation, K1 forward rotation cannot be operated because K2B contact is open. Interlock circuit configuration. Have a look at what we are going to do in this training. First, let us design the circuit. Design circuit according to the function requirement shown on the drawings. Check other factors besides the function requirement shown on the drawings so that it is designed to have zero false operation. Wire main circuit and auxiliary circuit. Write the name of the device on the relay. Separate duct cover. Wire the main circuit. After measuring the length of wiring, conduct cutting and grounding. Check the wire color while wiring the main circuit and use the proper crimp terminal or furrow terminal according to the wire specifications.
The main circuit should be designed according to the drawings and the primary part and the secondary part should be properly distinguished. If it is different from the drawings, safely related accidents can occur during maintenance. Wire the auxiliary circuit. According to the designed circuit, wire the auxiliary circuit. Use the proper crimp terminal or ferrule terminal according to the wire specifications. Conduct interlock circuit configuration on the actuator of forward reverse rotation to prevent shorts. Configure PLC input and output circuits. Design to interlock the base circuit and PLC.
It should be in line with the phase classification on the drawings. If the phase classification is not aligned, a short circuit may occur, so be careful. After the wiring is complete, clean up the workspace. Clean up the workspace and be prepared for the next task. Install and wire the door. Identify the locations of the buttons and lamps marked on the drawings and fix onto the door. To make it align with the drawings, the required locations and colors of the buttons should be identified. Fix the apparatus and check whether it shakes once again. If the apparatus shakes, the competitor may lose the mark, so check it once again. Conduct wiring according to the self-designed circuits. Check the process according to the circuits while working. After finishing up the wiring process, organize the wires with ties. Please check again the key points of the task we've done in this training. In this training, we have learned how to conduct motor circuit configuration and PLC circuit wiring. Thank you for your hard work.